Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at this guy. It's the Megalodon from Safari Limited. Safari Limited very kindly sent over a whole batch of dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures for us to review recently. I'll put a link to that unboxing down below and some of the other reviews. But today we're going to be taking a look at this giant shark. Okay, so without further ado, let's get him out of the packaging. Always a very exciting part of the review, breaking out the new prehistoric figure. And you can see he comes on this plastic transparent tray. That's just to keep him from warping or getting damaged in transit. So let's take him out of that tray and put him on the turntable. So for those of you who saw the Jurassic World trailer on our channel just before Christmas, uh, you'll remember that the Mosasaur fed on a great white shark. Now the Mosasaur would have trouble eating this guy because he measured a whopping 18 meters long. That's 59 feet and could be imagined as almost like a stockier, bulkier version of the great white shark. So let's take a closer look at this figure. So I think this is actually my first prehistoric shark figurine that I've ever owned. So thank you to Safari Limited for sending this one over. And as you can see, inside the mouth we've got carefully sculpted rows of teeth. My goodness, you wouldn't want to be swallowed by this thing. Gosh, looks very painful. And it's nicely painted and weathered inside there. Uh, you can see that the head does look sort of like a stockier build uh, than a great white shark. Some really nice sculpted subtle creases going on there just below the nose and around the lip area. I love the way they've painted that eye with a glossy black. Really makes it look very ferocious. And as we travel down the body you can see it's painted in this sleek white and grey. Some nice weathering in the gills there. You can see it's very sort of uh, nicely shaped fin there. Very, very nice. And as we move along the body, we go up to the fin on the back. Very, very nice. Very streamlined looking so that it could travel through the water with ease. Very nice. And then we come back to these little tiny fins on the underside and the powerful fin at the back. Continuing on the other side, really, really nice. It's a very simple uh, figure, this one, and I think that's put off a few people from buying this figure. But actually, when you think about um, sharks in reality, they have to be a very simple um, shape so that they flow through the water uh, efficiently. And uh, there's not much variation, if you look at sharks, there's not a massive variation um, in the coloration of their skin. Um, it tends to be quite sort of uh, plain, like this uh, paint job here. But there's a nice little soft gradient between the white and the grey, and I really like the detail around the mouth and the head there. So, how big is this guy? Let's get the tape measure out. It measures about 7.5 inches long, which is about 19 centimetres. And in terms of the height to the top of that fin, you're looking at about three and a half inches, which is about nine centimeters. Okay, size comparison time. Let's bring in the epic Safari Limited Brachiosaurus. This one has been reviewed on the channel. Link is down below. You can see the Megalodon comes up just up to about the height of the elbow of the Brachiosaurus there. And here's the Megalodon next to an apple that I'm just about to eat. Next, let's bring in the Safari Limited Amargosaurus, a really nicely detailed dinosaur. If you haven't seen the review for this guy, link is down below. But you can see they come up to around about the same height, these two. And lastly, here's the Megalodon next to a Mosasaurus from Collect Day from last year. And you can see that these two scale up really well. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Safari Limited Megalodon. This fantastic prehistoric shark was so huge, it's really nice to try and imagine what this would have been like in real life, and this figure certainly helps you there. Okay guys, do you own this one already? Will you be picking him up? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.